Hi, welcome to CPD 150, Academic Excellence Seminar. I'm George Self, your instructor, and I'm really looking forward to working with you throughout this class. In our class, we're going to learn things that will help you be successful as a college student. Oh, we'll study things like how to study and how to take tests, but also things like stress management and time management, because those are very important to college students. My goal is that by the time we finish, you will have skills and tools available to help you be successful in any college class that you may take. Let me show you how my class is laid out so you know what to expect. My class is divided into a number of units. You'll see here I have Unit 2, Motivating Success. Each of my units is divided into several sections. I've posted a resource. It's always a study plan, and I'll show you more about that in a few moments. I have a discussion question where I've posted a question that you have to respond to. You're also required to respond to two of your classmates' posts. I have an assignment and I have a quiz. Each one of our units is set up in exactly the same way. Now let's take a look at this study plan because that's where most of the action is going to occur. Now this is a study plan for motivating success. And the study plan always includes several sections. We begin with why it matters. That's a short introduction to the entire topic. Show what you know is a pretest. And given the results of that pretest, certain other uh, sections may be open or marked as complete. For example, for this particular unit, you may be very well versed in personal identity. You may know all about that topic. Well, after your pretest, this topic would already be marked as completed. But maybe you don't know so much about types of students. So that section would be marked as still needing work. You would work on those sections where you still need some work. Eventually, we have a, a place called Putting It Together. That's where we have a little bit of a summary of all of the materials in here. And finally, a quiz. You'll take the post-test, and the results of that post-test will be posted to our gradebook. The goal for the study plan is to give you a personalized uh, path through our course. In some cases, you may get to a unit where you already know almost everything in that unit. You'll take the pretest and be able to skip most of the other materials. In other units, you may need a little more help. And in that case, you can study the materials that are important to you. Now, unit one is just a little bit different because it's the first unit this semester. I've posted first the course procedure sheet. You should read that because that lays out the rules of the road for our class. Next, I have a number of resources here that will help you with that study plan. This will give you some information on how to get through the study plan successfully. I do want to point out that I have a discussion question during this first unit that's extremely important. It's what's called a census activity, and we're required by the federal government to make sure all of our students are participating in class. You must post your response to my discussion question before June 5th, or by regulation, I'm required to drop you from class. I don't mean that as a threat. I just want you to know the rules that I have to follow. Finally, I also have an assignment for this first week. That's about it. I'm looking forward to working with you this semester. I trust that we'll have a good time. If you run into any questions, you have any, any concerns, any problems in class, please don't hesitate to email me. I'm more than happy to chat with you about that. I'll be seeing you online. Bye.